Hi, Scorpio, and welcome to your bonus reading. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I am going to read for you a 10-card spread here. Uh, no clarifiers as of yet, as well as an outcome and four clarifiers for that. First things first, please take the time to smash that like button, share, comment down below as well. Subscribe if you haven't already, as well as if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. Let's get started here. Interesting energy. You have the King of Pentacles does represent Earth sign energy, but he's a balanced dude. Now, what's underneath him? Stagnation. Uh, the hangman here. And it's literally surrounding the Queen of Pentacles. That's a power couple, chickas. Uh, but definitely that's a power couple when you have the king and queen of the same suit in this case. Earth does not have to be. Uh, you guys are both waiting for each other. Little stubborn energy, I feel, between the both, okay? Uh, one's, one's having a harder time to budge uh, to speak first. It's kind of cute, actually. Uh, they are trying to, the dude here with the King of Pentacles, he's trying to have the encouragement. Look at all that yellow. The yellow is beautiful. It's, it's the sun. It's amazing energy. There's a shift here, I feel, of him coming back, I feel, with that King of Pentacles to go get what he wants, which is fulfillment of love. I do feel a little bit of missing as well. You're both kind of stuck in regards to both wanting each other is what I'm feeling. You're both basically ready for this as well with that power couple of the King and Queen of Pentacles too. They're very optimistic in regards to the Three of Wands, looking out towards their future for a whole new start here with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so interesting energy for the chicka here with the Queen of Pentacles or sign, like I said, but you're, you see how your back is towards the Nine of Wands? You used to be frustrated. Meh, you know, I'm not going to frustrate myself. I'm not going to conflict my energy here. I'm not going to allow uh, this person to control my emotions here. I'm not going to allow them to control my life. I'm going to focus on me, my balance. The frustration is done already. And now I feel that I just heard challenge. Uh, somebody else had that too. I think it was cancer. Uh, so you could be dealing with a cancer, but I do feel that there's going to be a challenge here of accepting them back because it was tough not hearing from them. But I also feel in the same sense, this uh, Queen of Wands, that's action. Looking over at the Ten of Swords, you healed your energy. That's what I mean. You both are uh, you know, people cards here, the King and the Queen of Pentacles, as well as he's the King of Pentacles is that Ace of Pentacles, okay? Uh, and the Queen of Pentacles is looking over. She took action to, to control the energy of the frustration and the mental anguish. You're both healed, Scorpio, is what that tells me, okay? Regardless if you're dealing with Earth or not. It's the energy I pick up. So here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, there's a wish fulfillment being granted here. I do feel that there's a strong connection. It was all in divine timing. Was it confusing? Was it stressful? Heck yeah. But they're making a decision here in regards to this love. I do feel by the king of pentacles. I don't know why. It could go either way because it is a general. But I do feel a little remorse. I just heard remorse here. Now see the queen of swords. She does represent air. So you could be dealing with air sign energy. But she's actually known as the cutout queen. So there's a lot of regret in regards to cutting out communication, in regards to cutting out this relationship is what that tells me. So definitely a wish fulfillment that took its sweet old time, I feel, to heal, to work through. There's, pro there's the process of going through a very strong connection, okay? Has it been confusing? Has it been mental anguish here? Absolutely, because there was somebody that was cut out of the situation and it was a rough cycle. But to this spread here, this tells me that you both healed your energy. You both are a little stubborn. <laughs> Don't know how to put that nicely. Uh, in regards to waiting, I'm not going to talk to him first. Well, I I'm trying to get the encouragement up. He's got to get the kahugas, you know, my favorite word. Uh, but I do feel that definitely the, the, the dude, not to pinpoint, but the dude I feel is going to have that inner strength. Now it is a general, everybody's going to be different with that energy. But I do feel that they are returning. 
you both want each other. It's kind of cute. I'm not going to talk to him. That would be me. I would do something like that, definitely. So can't blame you. Uh, but definitely, um, yeah. So I do feel that this is coming to come together here. You're both individually balanced. You both learn the lessons here. You both release mental anguish. You release the confusion of it all. You have a new start definitely coming about into your life in regards to this relationship. Extremely sweet message here. I absolutely love it, Scorpio. I hope that this helps. I hope it resonates for you. That's all good. That's what I... Welcome to Mercury Retrograde. I keep messing up my words. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I got for you guys. I hope that that helps. Uh, please take the time to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.